Thank you for joining us for this short presentation about genetic testing through 23andMe.com and Prometheus.com. Nature versus nurture. Even though um, lifestyle, nutrition, and um, exercise are 90% responsible for you keeping you healthy, understanding your nature and your DNA is very important because some of these genes actually require special attention and uh, we can then prevent trouble. So functional medicine practitioners spend time with a patient listening to the history, looking at their interaction among genetics, environmental, and lifestyle factor that can influence long-term health complex in chronic diseases. Functional medicine incorporates the latest in genetic science, system biology, and understanding how environmental and lifestyle factors influence the emergence and progression of disease. Why should we know? And that's we need to make a case for knowing because it's not just about, uh, you know, putting your head under the pillow and not knowing or, or knowing everything and thinking your genes are going to be the whole story and uh, with a fatalistic attitude that, well, I have bad genes, I can't do anything about it. Well, no. Uh, keeping healthy in preventive medicine is keeping those bad genes dormant and activate the good genes and waking them up. And the second good point about knowing is also getting your children involved because your children are always interested in their own thing, you know, just like they love watching themselves in the mirror. Well, that's an extreme mirror where they really look at all their genetics, their ancestry, and, and their health issues. And that's one way to get them maybe to eat healthy and understand the correlation. It's also important to communicate with your health professional about your unique health challenges and we'll talk later about certain prescriptions and you'll find out that if you cannot metabolize a particular prescription well, I think your health professional should know about that. Um, also, the case for knowing is going to change tomorrow's medicine as um, we'll definitely, you know, we'll guide medicine to provide non-toxic treatments for the generations to come. And now I'm, you know, for breast cancer survivors, I'm sure a lot of you have heard about oncotyping, where they actually test the genes of the tumor itself to see if it's going to re respond to chemo or not. And some patients where, you know, I've been guided not to do chemo um, and have been, or that would have been ineffective to start with. So that's very important. Now, the 23andMe, once you get your, res your results, will actually initially look like this because they will tell you they no longer give medical advice, which that could actually later on change, but um, they'll give you the ancestry, and, you know, that's the fun part for kids as well, to know how much they're from what country. And although we all come from East Africa, it's when we migrated, and it's, it's just a fun history. And... Um, so the medical information is coming from the raw data of 23andMe and then um, transferred to Prometheus.com. We'll know at the end how to do this. So this is an example page of, for example, the APOE, which this the gene that either protects you or is not good for Alzheimer. And the E3, E3, for example, you'll see at the top is the most common one, and it's the kind of the neutral gene and the most common one. So it's important to know, like if you had the E4-E4, E4, that you had a higher risk of Alzheimer's and what to do about it would then be to um, really watch your health and and don't do anything that would hurt your brain. And, and later on, we'll, we'll probably find out ways to to um, clean up those arteries and, and not have them compromise the circulation in your brain and cause Alzheimer's. And the other one would be um, important genes here, for example, that could determine whether or not you want to vaccinate your children. If both the parents have that gene, the double mutation of it, well, you're not able to metabolize folic acid and transform it to methylfolate, which is the, the one needed by the brain to, to stay healthy. And should, should your baby, let's say, get vaccinated and at the same time have a bad cold and and so that would be like the perfect storm to increase the risk, the risk of autism. Now, it's by no means the autistic gene, but understanding how, at this point, how this gene correlates with maybe other genes that in future um, science will tell us, uh, you know, that's the beginning. 
so knowing that you know you could be more careful or maybe um, um, supplement with folic acid prior to vaccination okay and this this one is a it's a page regarding on the Prometheus as well regarding a particular patient that couldn't metabolize um, non NSAIDs, which is like the ibuprofen and Advil and so on. So it's important to understand that you know they won't be responding to the to this particular drug. And there is another one uh, for um, let's say Ambien, and there's different different drugs pages there that could tell you which drug you should avoid because you cannot tolerate it. There's also some for alcohol. Uh, if you cannot metabolize alcohol, it's better best not to have it. And, and of course, it's very important to know as much as you can. Now, how to proceed is you go to 23andMe.com. So I'll probably let you read that uh, little page, but all the medical information is going to go through Prometheus.com, and the cost for both of them is probably around a hundred for the first one, and five dollars for the second one, and and in order to um, understand your results, just bring them in on a little zip drive and make an appointment to the office so we can help you understand and navigate your DNA and give you recommendations to prevent those little bad genes that you've got and we all have them the question is where are they are you more going to be at risk for heart for breast cancer for um, neurological disease for autoimmune disease and it'll be important to know and thank you for your time